I will tell him you saved his life. Master Wayne, you've been gone a long time. Yes, I have. You look very fashionable. Apart from the mud. Are you coming back to Gotham for long, sir? As long as it takes. I'm going to show the people of Gotham their city doesn't belong to the criminals and the corrupt. In the Depression, your father nearly bankrupted Wayne Enterprises combating poverty. He believed that his example could inspire the wealthy of Gotham to save their city. Did it? In a way, their murder shocked the wealthy and the powerful into action. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored, I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting. What symbol? Something elemental, something terrifying. I assume that as you're taking on the underworld, this symbol is a persona to protect those you care about from reprisals. You think about Rachel? Actually, sir, I was thinking of myself. Have you told anyone I'm coming back? I just couldn't figure the legal ramifications of bringing you back from the dead. Dead? You've been gone seven years. You had me declared dead? Well, actually, it was Mr. Earl. He's taking the company public. He wanted to liquidate your majority shareholding. Those shares are worth quite a bit of money. Well, it's a good thing I left everything to you, then. Quite so, sir. And you can borrow the rolls if you like. Just bring it back with a full tank. In my opinion, Mr. Zaz is as much a danger to himself as to others. And prison is probably not the best environment for his rehabilitation. Dr. Crane? Ah, uh, Mr. Oz. You really think a man who butchers people for the mob doesn't belong in jail? Well, I would hardly have testified to that otherwise, would I, Mr. Oz? This is the third of Carmine Falcone's thugs you've had declared insane and moved into your asylum. Well, the work offered by organized crime must have an attraction to the insane. Or the corrupt. Mr. Finch, I think you should check with Miss Dawes here just what implications your office has authorized her to make, if any. What are you doing, Rachel? What are you doing, Carl? Looking out for you. Falcone has half the city bought and paid for. Drop it. How can you say that? Because as much as I care about getting Falcone, I care more about you. That's sweet. <laughs> 